Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today we are playing the awesome, we are playing the awesome 8Q because I wanted to play some heavy PPCs and the 8Q is actually really, really good at that. It has a big drawback. It is huge. It is big as a barn door and uh, therefore you gotta be careful with what you do. For that reason I have put the three heavy PPCs all to the right side so that I only need to expose myself to half of my mech if I'm peeking around the right side. If you want, you can put the heavy PPC into the torso and the supplement weapons into the arm. And, um, you know, you have to, again, expose yourself completely and show your big, big silhouette to the enemy if you want to bring those two PPCs and then that PPC here to the point. Again, this is uh, why I really like having the right side. Also, the arm mobility really, really helps. But before we talk about that, um, let's dive into the build itself. We have three heavy PPCs, we have two small pulse lasers to have something to defend yourself. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Light Engine 300, which is the biggest one, a targeting computer, and the rest is just heat sinks. Now, why the small pulse lasers? Because I want to have seven damage. I know, seven, it's not much. But seven damage in order to shoot something if it underruns me. The heavy PPCs have a minimum range of 90 meters. You can see that in the damage diagram down there in the tooltip. Um, below 90 meters, you won't deal any damage. And then you have damage up to 600 what is that, 40 meters here, 620 meters actually, and then uh, it falls down to the maximum range of about 1200 meters. That is the heavy PPC. It deals 15 damage each, so 45 damage pinpoint if you hit all of your three heavy PPCs at the same component is devastating, especially against lights and mediums. So try to actually go for yeah medium max uh, specifically because it hurts them a lot. You can make their components critical in one blow and uh, then you just need to shoot once more or you let your team follow up on that to get the kill. That is the idea. Again, uh, we have the HSL quirk here, the heat scale limit for the whole PPC family. It says PPC family HSL plus one, which means you can fire one more PPC than normally without a heat penalty. That's really good. We also have 20% velocity and then 10% heat generation as well as 10% energy heat generation. So it actually adds up to a 20% heat generation quirk on the heavy PPCs and that makes the mech viable. This is again the idea of the awesome. It is really good at PPCs but it is so big. So try to stay out of the biggest fights and try to shoot into the fight from second line. Now the skills are like this here, as you can see we have gone down the left and right path of the firepower tree getting a bunch of cooldown range and heat gen as well as velocity on the mech. Other than that we have maximum survivability because as I was saying mech is big, mech is easy to hit so you will catch some return fire. Make sure that you have the survivability maxed out in order to survive as long as possible. Obviously, we will go for a cool run because we are an energy only build and we need to get some decent cooling on the mech. And we have radar deprivation as well as a double, uh, what's it called, double cool shot and a single artillery strike today. That's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Forest Colony. We are playing uh, Assault. We had a Locust here um, coming into our terrain, ter ter terrain territory. And um, yeah, um, I, was, I was trying to hit him. I didn't, so... I think we can start from this point on. Are we not making a rotation? I don't know what we are doing here. But yeah, in general, this mech is a very chill mech. We can stay in the back, we can just shoot from the outskirts, and we can deal damage over time. Don't expect, like, crazy numbers, because we don't really have DPS. We have pinpoint damage here, and that's a big, big difference. And we can hit bushwhackers in the side also, but only with one of our, uh, one of our PPCs there. It's uh, kind of a shame. Oh, I couldn't hit him. Close though, very close. Let's try to hit the bushwhacker who's coming up here again. He will try to regroup with his team and we're gonna punish him for that. Uh, go for our left side on the walker. Mm, I was the arm only. If we would have hit the side torso, it would have been glorious. Because I think that guy is running an XL engine. So, yeah, this is what we do. Look at that. We're gonna almost core people here with the heavy PPCs. The Locust is still there. Um, there was another UAV in the back, so he is somewhere around. Problem is... Um, if he's getting in super close range, as in 90 meters or lower, yeah, uh, here he comes. Here he comes. There he is. It's a flea, actually. Uh, I hit him. Only with one. With one PPC, though. Come on. All right. All right. All right. Okay, let's go over here. I think that's better. 
Yeah, that was XL, as I was expected. Sure. Expecting, actually. Yeah. Expecting. Alright, cool. There's one kill already. Now, what to do? I think we're gonna wait here. We're gonna defend this area because there was another mech, at least one, who was uh, also sitting here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, artillery. Trying to trying to maneuver, so I'm dodging it a little bit, but I did not completely. Stonecrow. Stonecrow is uh, very damaged in the center torso. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, let's get the Corsair in the water, right side, hotel. Alright, let's go for it. Going for regular vision again. Can I get another shot out? Yeah, I could. But I actually aimed a little bit too far left. Damn it. That could have been another mm, round about 45 damage. But it was not. Alright. So, it's a very slow paced game here. That's what I, again, need and that's what I like about this. What I don't like is the fact that terrain actually blocks your PPC shots. Those, those trees. One of my PPCs was, um, you know, just completely, completely blocked because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the locust. Look at that. The, or flea. My team is completely going to the water side because of the flea. Alright, we're gonna go down here because I want to see if I can get an angle on the Corsair again or on the Stormcrow. And, damn it, I regret my decision right now. That's not good. People are still in Hotel 7, that's the thing. But the enemy team seems to be extremely split, so I think I can be a little bit aggressive. There's a guy. I see him. And I shoot him. Okay. That's one shot on the Cyclops, 45 damage yet again. That's really good. Now. Oh, he's coming. That's a component destroyed, though. Let's get out of here. I think we should have intimidated the guy a lot. <gasps> Too high, damn it. Okay, right side on the Kid Fox. Right side on the Kid Fox. He's gonna peek again. That's the center or a leg or whatever. But it's devastating against the little one. I'm gonna peek once more. We should we should really, really watch that side here. Yeah. Alright. And now it's time to rotate because I don't wanna be here. You guys in the water, can you help out in Hotel 7, please? We're getting pushed hard. Come over here, please. Alright. We need you. We need you right now. Uh, what about the right side? It seems to be safe to go in here for a while. Not for long, but for a while. Archer. Very good. Archer is caught. Kill him. India. India. That was not a kill. He was so damaged on that side. Left side on the Wolfhound. One shot. Alright, that's a kill. Uh, let's keep going because now the people are coming from the back there. We have to kind of push, which is horrible for us. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hello, Waka. Thank you for that, Mr. Cougar. Uh-huh, I need to go now. That's the Kid Fox from earlier. And now he's gonna completely kill me. Oh, such a shame. We did some damage, though, and that was cool. So, we... We did our part. Now it's on my team to actually bring it to the end. We have a bunch of LRMs and an LB-20 here on the Orion. That should be okay to fight... The Stormcrow. However, they still have two Assault Mechs sitting in the back. Those Assault Mechs, though, I believe they are LRMs, LRM boats. There's the Corsair with, well, actually, AC-10s and PPCs. Um, but we have a Stalker still in the back. That might be might be an easy prey if, well, we push him. The Corsair is half down, center toss a one shot, and then there's a LRM Stalker. Kill him. That was your friend, by the way. Oh my god. He shot his friend in the back. Oh, don't do that. Everybody's overheating. No, guys, you can do it. You just need to work together now. Stormcrow center torso. Corsair center torso. Get him, boys. Get him. Oh, my God. I mean, the Stormcrow is running ATMs only. That's good. Because that's, uh, that Stormcrow cannot contest our Wolfhound here. Our Wolfhound needs to be a little bit more deliberate with his aim, though. Don't switch targets. Get the Stormcrow. Get the Stormcrow. Get the Corsair. Easy kills. Kill him now. Don't go for the Stalker. Get the Corsair or the Stormcrow. Ooh. Come on, can we do it? This is so rough here. Uh, not quite. Now we got him. Alright. In the meantime, the Stormcrow is going down. And now you can start focusing on the Stalker. Because that Stalker is only LRMs. It couldn't hurt you, really. And you almost got the, the Stormcrow down. If you leave the Stormcrow alive, it can still shoot at your friends while you are going to, you know, shoot another target that still has armor. In a late game scenario like that, you're gonna finish the job in order to win the game. But they did a good job. Cool. We won it in the end. Alrighty. 
Uh, it, was, it was a weird game, a little bit. Everybody was super split. There was uh, a bit of a lack of focus. And then the enemy started to make a push on us and, and, you know, get some damage out. And that is where we started to crumble. But we made it in the end. We got two killing blows, two assists, 666 damage. Very evil here. And three components destroyed. That's the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, the second game of the day. We are playing Terra Therma. We are playing a toasty map here. We are playing Assault. Uh, we will push the left side because we believe, or I believe, um, I don't know. We believe? We believe. The team believes that um, the enemies will come from the left side and we don't want to NASCAR away from our base and then uh, that panic break out when the enemies are trying to push our base. Instead, no, we're gonna face them head on and we're gonna go to Fox Trot 8 or Golf 8. And um, I think that's a good idea. So let's see where the enemies are coming from. They're in the center already. See, that's, that's what I mean. That is really good. We have an Incubus and we have another Light Mech. Although I gotta say, I don't like the situation here because the lights are gonna lure us into the Foxtrot 8 choke point and I'd rather go to the Golf 8 area. Hmm, what can we do here? I believe taking high ground is a good idea, although two Assault Mechs have already taken it. It's not that great because we're gonna block each other here. And one of our guys is dead. Ah, got lured too hard. That's the thing. That is the thing. You gotta be careful with what you do here. Okay. Uh, not that. God, I'm pressing all the buttons at the same time. I wanted to go to Night Vision. The guy. Left side. Vapor Eagle. Bam. Uh, I'm blocked. I'm blocked. Blocked. I cannot move anymore. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Be careful when you peek here. Because my mech is white as a barn. Uh-huh. There is one kill. That's good. And yeah, that's what I mean. We don't have that many... Um, that many... Um, or that much room here for that many mechs. That's the thing. Um, I hope that people are going to Golf 8 as well. Hey, Urby. Oh, left side on the Urban Mag, one shot. That's really good, he's super critical. That should make him very timid in terms of his game plan. Alright, that's good. That's morale, that's uh, intimidation again. Um, mm, Nobody here yet. I don't want to push yet, though. Still want to watch that ridge here. And maybe the Urban Mag is coming down here again. Uh, Do I? I wish I had a UAV. Actually, the UAV tells me that we can go. Uh, pushing in Golf 7. I'm gonna make a push into the center now. Uh, let's make a pincer move. Okay, let's see. Let us see, let us see, let us see. We have a bunch of people on the left side, Golf 8. We have to be quick if we want to get something done here, because they are fighting Assault Max down there, which are actually getting thrashed. That's good, that's really good. Let's see if we can get an angle on the enemies here. That was a bad shot, I gotta say. I actually thought that the, the awesome was a little bit faster than that. Okay, but we have the Mad Dog completely pinned, and he is down. Ooh, is that a good idea? Uh, that kind of pincer move uh, turned out to be a full-fledged uh, leave the uh, teammates on the left side alone thing. Oh, I hoped that I really hoped that they could defend themselves long enough. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm really sorry. I'm absolutely sorry. I didn't expect the enemy team pushing that hard into their direction. And now we are in a NASCAR situation, guys. We gotta kill quickly. Just try to focus hard. Okay. And stay together. That's important. Let's see what we can do. There's an awesome. I gotta hit the awesome. Uh, let's go for the Banshee first. Uh-huh. Looking good so far. Again, we need to make some kills here. We need to get them. Echo, please. Echo. Get the Banshee. Down he goes. Perfect. I think the awesome is another good target now. Oh, not like that. Not like that, though. Copy. Uh, good shot here. Left side on the awesome. Left side is critical. The XL. Too high! What? I cannot believe that. That's center. Center or left side on the awesome in the back. I'm gonna overheat here. We needed that kill. It had to be done. I'm gonna take my internal damage in order to force something upon the enemy, which is a kill. All right. Acquired. All right, all right. Man, if that one shot earlier would have hit. Give me a second, that's the urban mech. Did I not get him? What? He is so damaged. Down he goes. Perfect. Seven and six. Now we have them where we want them, actually. We have something on the Cyclops. Also, we have a lot of heat on my mech. What about this here? I think it's fine. We also have the Kutra available in a second. That's really, really valuable. Mm hmm Down. Not down. Small pulses? Yay! Small pulses. 
Okay, Cyclops is destroyed. And I just wanted to say there's something behind us. We won it in the end. Sorry, flankers, for being destroyed. So the enemies actually started a Nazca, and um, we could have actually reinforced left side in order to let them just crash into our firing line. But that pincer move, if the enemies were a little bit slower, would have turned out way better. So again, sorry, sorry, the people uh, who held the line, and we made it in the end here. We got two killing blows, seven assists, three kill most damage dealt, 614 damage done, as well as two components destroyed. And that's the awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.